O Muslims, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has explained in a lot of detail and with great, great clarity the events that will occur in every person's life that will talk, that will signal death and the journey that the soul will take as it experiences this phenomenon of death. The very first sign of death is what the Prophet ﷺ called Sakaratul Maut. And Sakaratul Maut means the pangs of death. And these pangs are not a sign of evil at all. Our Prophet ﷺ suffered them. They are simply the precursor, the common precursor to the eventual coming of the angel of death. Our Prophet ﷺ told us that there will be this millisecond where you are still alive and you see the angel of death in front of you. You are a part and parcel of this world. You are still a part of this dunya, but the angel of death is there and only you can see it. Allah says, you were attempting to deny this. You were ignoring this. Today, when you see the angel of death, we have lifted the covering. You will see the real world and that is the next life. So when the angel of death is seen and you are still on this earth, the Prophet ﷺ said, that is when tawbah is cut off. That is when the, the, the repentance and all hope of salvation is finished. If you were not righteous before, you're not going to be righteous now. And our Prophet Wasallam said that when the ruh leaves the body, the eyes follow the ruh up. And that is why our Prophet Wasallam said every dead person, his eyes are looking up. This is a phenomenon we know from real world. Every person who dies, his eyes are looking straight up. Why? Because Allah has allowed us as individual human beings to see our own ruh. We see our own ruh as it leaves our body. And we see it go up and our eyes follow it. And that is when death comes to us. The righteous's death will be different than the person who was a fasiq and a fajr. Our Prophet ﷺ told us that for the mu'min, when his time of death comes, the angels of death all come with their entourage. They come with a delegation, a welcoming committee. And these angels, the Prophet ﷺ told us, they will be as far as the eye can see. And they will have bright faces, shining faces, faces that bring comfort, faces that bring peace. And the person is seeing this right at the last millisecond of his life. And he is terrified. Everyone's going to be terrified. What will the angel say at this time? Allah takhafu wa la tahzanu. Don't be worried and don't be scared. Don't be worried about what you're going to face in the future. Don't be scared about your family and children you left behind. We are your protectors. We will take care of you in this world and in the next. This is something that will happen to the believers. And then the Prophet ﷺ said, and his ruh will leave his body like water is poured out of a jug. Look at how beautifully the water comes out. It will leave simply, it will leave beautifully, poetically even. And the angels, the Prophet ﷺ said, will handle his ruh with the utmost gentleness and the utmost care. And they will bring with them the shrouds of Jannah and the flowers of Jannah and the perfumes of Jannah. And they will shroud the ruh in these perfumes and shrouds of Jannah. And they will raise it with the utmost gentleness. And the doors of the heavens will be opened up and the ruh will go up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah will say that write the name of my servant in the register of the highest registers, in the register of the righteous people. And then Allah will tell the soul, go back and rest for a time on this earth. That the ruh will then go back down and rest in this earth except for the ruh of the shaheed who will remain flying in Jannah as a reward for the shaheed. The converse or the opposite, the case of the kafir and the fajr, our Prophet ﷺ also gave us his story and what will happen to him. The angels of punishment will come along with the angel of death. And as far as he can see while he's still alive, he still, this is the last millisecond. And that is why if you've ever witnessed somebody die, you see them pause for a second. You see them completely as if they're transfixed and then their ruh goes. That millisecond for them, it is like an eternity. For them, this is a different world. They're seeing the angels and they're seeing the angels of punishment. The Prophet ﷺ said his ruh will be extracted. Listen to how the example he gave. Like wet cotton is pulled through an iron comb and they will mention him with the worst names and they will handle him in a rough manner until when he is raised to the heavens, the doors of the heavens are shut for him, that they will never enter Jannah.